How is my Ketu? My Ketu is in this house, that house, it's in this sign, that sign, it's exalted, it's debilitated, it's afflicted, it's in Dustan, it's in Kendra, this, that, this, that, this, that. But how is my Ketu? Oof. How is it? Is it good or is it bad? 10 shortcuts to know if your Ketu is good. So now, no human being will have all these 10 things in full it's not possible because then you have to be god but the more you have these and to the to the extent the quality is there for all these 10 parameters you know that your ketu is well placed and to the degree you do not possess all this then you need to work on your ketu all right so what is the first point the first point is classic you can you do your best and you leave the rest to God and the universe and your karma, of course. <laughs> so if your Ketu is good, <clears throat> you understand that you have done your part now. But now, depending on God's desire and your own past life karma, you will get results. Okay. Whatever you get in life, everything is not just dependent on the actions of this life. It is also dependent on the actions of your previous lifetimes. Okay. So do not forget this. This is the law of karma. This is the Vedic tradition. Okay. And if you act according to that, not just believe, believe, you know, oh yeah, there is this, that, but do you actually act as per that? Okay. So for example, you study everything and then you don't get 100 out of 100 in an exam. Even if you write everything. Why? Maybe because you might have uh, done something <laughs> in some lifetime and you are getting that punishment and now and you are accepting it. You got you get 99 out of 100. Okay. And you don't freak out because you know that you have done your best and now it's up to God and your karma. Number two, you understand not everything and not everybody is in your control you understand that there are things which are much beyond your control you can control yourself you can control your habits you can control your mindset you can control what you hear you can control what you eat you can control what you speak you can control what you believe what you think what you identify yourself with you can control most of these things or rather all of these things but the same app does not apply for others. You cannot control what others think, others believe, others see, others eat. You can't do that. Okay. You cannot control our organization. You can't do it if you are the founder or CEO or the head. But still, wherever the more the people, the lesser the control you have. Okay. So therefore, if you understand that everything is not in your control, then you know your K2 is very good because then... You trust the Vedic ethos and spirituality. You are a very spiritual person and that's what is the quintessence of Ketu. You are spiritual. okay? And we are all spiritual because the Vedic scriptures say Ananda Maya Bhyasa, Satchit Ananda. Right? We are full of eternity, knowledge and bliss. But do we stay by that? Okay. Number three. You can change yourself but not others. And you understand this. This is very, very, very critical because if your Ketu is bad, you will be hell-bent on changing others. Accept yourself. So, very easy, quick way to identify if you have a bad, bad Ketu. Bad Ketu. You feel everybody else is responsible for the problems of your life. Now, there could be people who are responsible directly or indirectly. But at an internal level, you have to understand it is your own karma that is bringing all this suffering. Okay, otherwise your Ketu is not good. Now that does not mean you don't fight and you tolerate injustice. No, but understand that the only enemy that you have is your own bad karma. Okay, number four, you are humble because Ketu is the flag. Ketu is a, it's like a conquered territory. If you understand Ketu properly, you will know that it's a place of victory. But if Ketu is well placed, that victory will not make you proud. It will make you humble and it will make you um, want to do better things in life and in society. But if Ketu is badly placed, 
uh, you will be very arrogant and you will dominate others. You will try to suppress others. You will demean others. You will bully others. You will, you will, you will desire that others succumb to your whims and fancies. Okay, or whims and fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if Ketu is well placed, you understand that, okay, it was my luck that day, but it may not be every day. <laughs> As in uh, Hindi movies, they say, uh, what is that? Ah, har kutte ka din aata hai. <laughs> Aaj mera tha, kal kisi aur ka hoga. <laughs> now every dog has his day right uh, it, it was my day that day but may not be every day right so but uh, if ketu is badly placed you think every day is my day which is not reality number five this is very 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 important you do not abuse things and people that you already have in life because see you have to understand what is ketu again the same rule applies Ketu is a flag. It's a conquered territory. What does a king do? In the Vedic culture, if you see the Chatriyas, they would never attack civilians. But if you read uh, human history over the last, you know, three, four, five, six hundred or even thousand years, especially in India, you know, the invasions of these Islamic raiders, these uh, bloody butchers, they would not only fight with the uh, army, they would also butcher civilians, okay? That is why in Rajasthan, the Chatranis would do Johar, okay? Because they uh, they would also enjoy their bodies uh, when, uh, I mean, the Mughal soldiers, they would enjoy the dead bodies, okay, of uh, the Rajput women. So, they would burn themselves. But, what would good kings do? Like Lord Ram, he won the battle of Lanka, but he did not even enter Lanka's palace. Can you believe it? He, in, he instantiated Vibhishan as the king. Okay, so you do not abuse things that you own. If you abuse, then it's like you need to prove to others that I have won. Okay, which means you are not convinced that you have won. But if you... If your Ketu is good, you are convinced. I am victorious. So I don't need to prove it. Okay. Number six, you do not get jealous very easily. <laughs> because you know there's law of karma. Now, of course, as I said again, everybody will get jealous to some extent. Mm -hmm. But you do not get jealous like in general. You know, have you seen people... <clears throat> In general, they are very jealous. One of one of the biggest um, curses of Kaliuga is extreme jealousy. Whenever you see somebody is rich or somebody is attractive, you go to their social media handles and you'll see all the haters writing all the hate comments. You know, all nonsense, poison. Oh, you are ugly. You are you are you are a liar. You are a crook. You are a criminal. You are a cheater. You are this. You are that. Why? Why do they do this? Because people in Kaliuga, they're very miserable. One of the traits of Kaliuga is manda sumanda matayo, manda bhagya upadrita. Always disturbed. Always disturbed. So, now what happens? They need to feel good about themselves. So, they will go and write some crap on your videos or on your post, you know. Or anything it could be. That is why, you know, they keep saying always, nazar lagega. It's like evil eye and all this, okay. But, you understand that, well, that person has something because that person has worked for it and maybe there is some uh, past life good karma that this person has done. So, you don't get jealous. Okay. Now, of course, if uh, it's very close and, you know, you are like kind of competitors, then there could be some jealousy, which is natural, as I said. But it's not perpetual jealousy. It's like, you know, you are jealous of every freaking body. You can't see good in anybody. Okay. It, 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 if that's your situation, your Ketu is really messed up. Okay. You need to work on it. Number seven, you can be defeated, but you cannot be damaged. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? This means you can be defeated a thousand million times. You can be dropped, you can you, you, you can be punched in the face, but internally you cannot be damaged, okay? You are made of steel. 
<laughs> the inside is made of steel because the foundation is very strong. If K2 is good, then what happens is success does not affect you. It does not make you vicious. Nor does failure makes you vicious. And if K2 is badly placed, then success will make you proud and um, failure will make you very envious. Okay. So therefore, if you have been defeated and your K2 is good, you will accept it. And you will not harbor grudge against those who have defeated you. Provided, of course, if they have done it in a wrong way, then you may seek justice. That's perfectly fine. But you don't harbor malice. Okay. Number eight. This is, this is the most beautiful point. You know it's a matter of time, which means you know you... You will get it. It's just a matter of time. Aaj nahi to kal. If not today, then tomorrow. Or in the next 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. Or in the next life. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. You have to do it and you will get it. By God's grace. And you know it. So, so you do everything. And you leave the rest to God. You trust the process. You trust the power of God. You know it will happen one day. You have that faith and that is, nobody can shake that faith. As I said, it could be after 100 lifetimes. <laughs> so, people always ask me, oh sir, will I be a millionaire? Will I be a billionaire? Will I be this, that? So, you must have this belief that yes, you will be one day. It may not be in this life, but in some lifetime, right? <laughs> that is what you value so much, okay? But do you have that? If not, then Ketu is not well placed. Sorry. Number nine, you celebrate the success of others. This is this is classic. This is the opposite of being envious of others. So 99% of the people in Kali Yuga, they are envious. People of Kali Yuga, they are like snakes. They are always envious. Like, you know, have you seen the... The snake, what is that? He hisses. hisses. <laughs> so they're always ready to hiss. Oh, somebody is getting married. Oh, it's inter-caste marriage. You know, what if it was in same caste? Oh, Indian married to Indian. You didn't get a foreigner, you know. Oh, it's just arranged marriage. You couldn't date. You are not smart. You couldn't impress a girl. You couldn't get a girlfriend. You couldn't have a love marriage, okay? Oh, it's it's a child. Oh, it's a girl. It's not a boy. Ah, there are two boys. Why no girl, child in your family? Mm -hmm. Okay, so people in Kali Yuga, they are hell-bent on finding faults because that makes them feel good about themselves. Okay, because they themselves are miserable. But if you celebrate the success of others, then, then it really means that you have control over your inner demons. Otherwise, Ketu is not well placed. Sorry. <laughs> and number 10. This is maybe the most important. Last but not the least. God, prayers, spiritual practices, um, spiritual communities, gurus. They are not like your spare wheel. Okay, now what is spare wheel? Spare wheel is like, you know, a car has four wheels and it's going. And when one of the wheel is destroyed... Then the spare will comes, which means Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, one of the four. Maybe, you know, you, you lose your job. Then you start praying to God. Your, you get divorced or your marriage is on the verge of completion or ending, sorry. And then you pray to God. Okay. Or your health, health is going to be finished. No, this is not your attitude, which means God, spirituality, scriptures and association of great personalities, gurus, sadhus. They are like your everyday life, everyday practice. You live for that. You live for them. You live for these principles. You, li you live and you exist and you breathe for spiritual prosperity. Okay, not you don't just run to God like a dog when there are problems because you think God is your dog. <laughs> Have you seen people, they say, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I used to pray to God a lot. But after the time I had this problem, you know, I stopped praying to God, you know, because he doesn't fulfill my desire. So God is not your dog. You know? He's not your 
uh, pet slave or your bloody dog to just uh, fulfill its G-O-D, not D-O-G. <laughs> okay. But if Ketu is good, then all these things are like a part of your life. It's there in your DNA. It's there in your genes. If Ketu is badly placed, ah, well, mm -hmm, then it's like a spare wheel. Okay. You never know what goes wrong and only then you take to God. All right. So I hope these 10 indications give you a good idea of if your Ketu is well placed or not. And if Ketu is not well placed, then please do spiritual practices, visit spiritual communities, chant mantras, uh, try to control your bad habits, try to um, not do sinful activities and control your mind, do meditation, do pranayam, do yoga and elevate your consciousness. By that, you will develop good habits and good attitude and your Ketu will improve. All right. So if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a personalized consultation from me regarding your chart, you will find it down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him.